Hey Saints, um, I come to you real quickly. I want to give you a warning about a troll. And I did respond to this troll, said, um, Miss, your videos are worth doo doo. This person doesn't even know me. Her name is Bev Jordan, and she says, You are a false skunk. She calls herself a Christian, but this person is full of hate, evil, full of demons. Um, I got warnings from uh, subscribers. I, that's right. I made that comment to this person. You can read it yourself. I got warnings from subscribers that this person who calls herself a Christian but who's no more than a false, fake Christian that is self-righteous, that is full of demons because I don't know this person from a hole in the wall. I told this person that they are as intelligent as a bout of bag of rocks because if a person is going to sit here and say that videos like this, bear with me one second guys, let me go back to my channel and then I'll go back in there. This person, Bev Jordan, who was a nut job, stated that videos telling you about Jesus Christ, exposing false prophets, telling you about the coming of the Lord, telling you about um, not accepting donations, the rapture will happen when Jesus decides, Jesus said, get out of the world. You know that's in the word. Um, other videos exposing false prophets about hell being real, about Islam is an ungodly faith. Um, that you have to test the spirits, that it's in the word of God. It clearly says that. Jesus is God. This person said that the videos that I made are doo-doo. So she's saying that, that the fact that G I, I say Jesus is God because it's in the word of God. She said that's doo-doo too. She committed utter blasphemy. Um, what else? Giving relationship advice about the spiritual realms breaking down, uh, Satan trying to kill my family, which my family got into, almost got into a car accident more than once. So this evil devil incarnate obviously, um, thinks that that's cool. It's very sick minded. Uh, what else? Exposing false prophets. Have faith in Jesus. Jesus Christ provides. Person thinks that that's uh, a doo-doo. Jesus Christ says that he will provide for his elect in hard times. This person thinks that that's doo-doo, quote-unquote, too. So if this person thinks that godly messages of encouraging you to test the spirits, telling you that no man knows the day nor the hour, warning you of um, times to come, Telling you to have faith in God. Don't trust me. I tell you that, ladies and gentlemen. Trust Jesus. Um, telling you of times to come. Again, it's in the word of God. Telling you that hell is real. You know, messages about God, Jesus Christ, not about me. And why the Pope's visit was biblically prophetic and not to trust the Pope. And it's no doubt that, you know, um, like I said, this troll goes on other Watchmen's channels because I've got a number of emails about this person as well as a number of text messages and Facebook messages. I got at least 27 on that one person right there. A person that can think that messages like that are doo-doo is obviously of the devil and they're sick. Sick in the head. So let's go to this person's channel and see exactly what kind of Christian person are we dealing with. So Oh, she likes cartoons. Let's see what this channel is about. This disturbed individual likes to watch cartoons. Is this about God, you ladies and gentlemen? Walt Whitman, the, the soul children of Chicago. You might think, oh, well, that's gospel music. This is part of the New Age movement, ladies and gentlemen. Why is this person subscribed to a person that has a cartoon anime character which is worldly according to God? Why is that? That's who they're subscribed to. Let's see who else this individual is subscribed to. A lot of New Age stuff here. This person likes the prosperity Gospel. Oh. Subscribe to a modern drummer. So as a Christian individual, 
are you supposed to be looking at stuff about drums? Now, you might think, oh, well, that's nothing, blah, blah, blah. But there's nothing godly about this. Why would you care about playing drums? You might think it's no big deal, but is it for the glory of God? This person's talking about Black Pearl series, weird stuff. This is not godly. In fact, Jesus Christ tells us to step out of the world. That includes drums. This is like rock band type stuff. So this person is into rock music. This person's in rock music. Let's see what this so-called fake Christian likes to listen to. This person claims to believe in God. Really? Let's see who you're subscribed to. New Life Gospel. Notice the sun? You might say, oh, that's nothing. Whenever you see something like this, ladies and gentlemen... Everybody knows that this is a cultic. This is pertaining to sun worship, new life. New life in who? In Jesus? No. This ban right here, everybody knows, is satanic. You have to do the research yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to do it for you. Let's see who else this individual is subscribed to. Everybody knows that Yolanda Adams is Illuminati. Oh, she subscribed to a person that likes Beyonce. Beyonce is Illuminati. Ladies and gentlemen, she subscribed to a person that listens to worldly music. And this person calls herself a Christian. Who else is this troll subscribed to? Isn't that amazing? A lot you learn about a person. Birthday, Roxanne. Birthday is a man-made paganistic holiday. Friends wedding. Look at all this worldly stuff. Fun tablet. Look at this. Marcus kisses dead husband to mark her 85th birthday. That's Necromancy, ladies and gentlemen, a spirit of necromancy. So this person, Beyonce, look at that, Barack Obama. Barack Obama can care less about Christians, and this fake convert obviously supports Barack Obama. You, you, can, you guys can believe me or not, that's up to you. Let's see. Hmm. Wow. Limited exposure photography, another worldly item. If it's not for the glory of God, it's worldly, plain and simple. What else? What this person got in a playlist? Nothing. This person has zero subscribers. Not that I care, because that doesn't even matter. This is the comment I made to the individual. I copied and pasted it on the channel, because this coward made a comment on my channel, and that was it. Made a comment on my channel and pretty much went, put her tail between her legs and crawled away. This is the comment I made on the channel. You can see it for yourself. If you're offended by it, that is your problem. Because as far as I'm concerned, I'm defending myself. This is what I said. First off, I don't care what you think of me, nor do I care about your opinion. Secondly, you're the one that is worthless than the feces my dog releases. Thirdly... Do not be jealous or hate on, on the only false one here is you, troll. You obviously did not get the message the video was trying to convey with your small-minded comment. It is obvious that you, you, miss or sir, whatever you are, it is hard to place a gender on this individual with a name like Bev. Or on a video of mine, comment intelligently with scriptural backing, not some psychotic babble like the comment you made. It's obvious you're a child of the devil. Now that I shut you up, stop trolling the channels of true watchmen, or you will be the next demon I expose. 
expose you for the false prophet you are. I got emails and warnings about you trolling how you like to attack watchmen that exposes the false prophets you are sub to. Now go troll somewhere else like the false, the only false one here is you. Now you might say, oh, your comment is this, that you have to correct and love. Well, you know what? Before you sit there and comment, um, the nasty remark this individual made is not correcting in love. And I'm going to show you that remark again. That is why I keep comments disabled because of trolls like this. Miss, your videos are worth doo-doo. Does that sound like a Christian uh, so-called believer, ladies and gentlemen? No, that sounds like a child of the devil who is full of hate and jealousy. You are a false skunk. She's supposed to be a child of God. God teaches us to love our enemies and correct in love. Now, I might be stern, ladies and gentlemen, when I correct, but I correct because I love everybody and I want to see everybody make it. I'm not going to sit here and make a tech comment without any backing or reasoning. Now, as you can see, if you look at the words that this person is saying, you can tell that this person has psychotic mental issues and uh, obviously demonic spirits behind that. Now, this person didn't have any type of backing, no proof or anything, just like the other trolls attacking me. So I prayed to Jesus Christ too about it, and the Lord told me that this individual is defending false prophets I exposed and what other watchmen exposed. Also, ladies and gentlemen, you could tell the hate and jealousy. Look at this comment, quote, trying to make a video about the Pope because you're trying to be like the rest of them. I have no idea what this nut is talking about because the only one I care to be conformed to or like is Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Amen. You, you guys as believers should strive to be like Jesus Christ because we're supposed to live holy like the Father. This person here, as I showed you, is not living holy. They are living an utterly filthy life. Now, I'm on here. You probably might wonder why I'm on here wasting time or what have you. I'm on here, first of all, to warn you, Watchmen, that this person is not trolling only my channel. She's trolling other people's channels as well, for one. For two, this individual likes to attack not only the watchmen but also their viewers and subscribers because I've got emails about this nut. Number three, I am simply defending myself, telling you guys that, if, like I told you before, if someone's going to come on my channel and troll, I'm going to make a comment like you just saw me make. I'm going to bring it to the church, warn you about this troll, and then I'm going to do this. You see that button right there? I am going to remove this individual who basically obviously has no life. And I said in my comment, is, is intelligent. Actually, my desk here, see how empty it is? Is more intelligent than that individual who obviously has no brain cells left. Now, watch ladies and gentlemen, report spam abuse. You saw the comment I made? Here's simply put, if you have a problem with my video, I don't care. You can come at me like an adult and tell me what your problem is. Give me some type of support, scriptural backing, not some unintelligent, stupid comment, brain dead comment like that individual made. Tell me what your position is. If you have a disagreement, I will take what you say to the Lord in prayer. But if anybody's going to come on my channel and make some nasty comment like that, I'm going to warn the church and then I'm going to report that is spam and block that individual like I did just now. I love everybody, but I don't have time for this because I have a lot going on in my life and I'm trying to help souls. That's what I'm trying to do. What I'm doing here with exposing this troll and I'm going to give you her name. Bev Jordan, this person is obviously um, a coward, okay? Now, I realize not many people like to show their face because maybe they were identity theft victim or maybe they want to remain private, which is fine, okay? 
But this particular individual right here, if they're going to go make comment on people's channels, you better show your face. Like, I'm going to show you mine. See if I can get behind the camera. I'm right here, ladies and gentlemen. You saw me very briefly. I'm just not behind front of the camera today because I'm making a point. This person is a troll, defends false prophets. When you make a video exposing the false prophets this person supports, I'm talking about the false prophets I expose, the ones that other watchmen expose, there's a laundry list of them. This particular individual is going to get upset. Not just this individual, other trolls like this one. This person likes, um, supports Rachel Sheriff. Allison Thomas of Joy Bunnelly, another false prophet I expose. Supports Rody 61169. Um, Minister Paul, he youngs, Pastor Paul Begley, Anita Fuentes, Super Gospel Gangster, Bow Soldier for Christ. Uh, this person supports a lot of false prophets. This is what I'm telling you, and I'm reading off the list to you. This is based on emails I got from these 20 some odd people that I told you about. And not, that's not even including the text messages I got and Facebook messages. That this person has a reputation of trolling the channels of true watchmen. So if you're a watchman on the wall, continue to do the will and the, and the, do the will of Jesus Christ. Follow the Lord's will. Please do that. Do not let any demon like this deter you from your walk or from doing the Lord's will. Because I'm going to remind you of something, okay? I'm going to remind you of something before I end this. Because I was just about to Skype with a soul that has demons in her house. And speaking of demons, there's one right there, okay? So, I'm going to take you to the book of Ezekiel, okay? I'm not playing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to take you to the book of Ezekiel that says, Blow the trumpet to you watchmen on the wall. Don't let these trolls scare you. Okay? I get hate mail every day. And I seriously don't care. So, I'm going to say it one more time. You got a disagreement with me? Holler at me in an adult manner. Send me a private message. And in that private message, tell me what your disagreement is. Okay? Give proof. And I'll take it to Jesus in prayer. Because I'm always open for correction. Don't come in my channel and make a nasty comment. Because that basically entails that that person is not trying to correct me. That they jealous and they upset because I'm speaking truth. And because obviously that person's a sat uh, this person's a tool of Satan. Because Satan is upset. Satan is threatened because watchmen, are, watchmen on the wall are doing the, war of the will of Jesus Christ. And when Satan gets upset, Satan sends his little minions named Bev Jordan like that. Okay? So, holler at me and I'll take it to Jesus in prayer. But if you're going to make a nasty comment with no backing, just say, oh, you're false. But you don't have any proof. I'm going to do a video on you. I'm going to warn the church. And then I'm going to block you. And it's as simple as that. That's why I disable comments because I don't have time for trolls like that. Okay? I'm going to take you to scripture real quick for you watchmen on the wall. I'm going to take you to scripture real quick. I'm going to try to find that scripture right now because you need to see this and you need to be reminded of what God said in the word. Be reminded of what God said in the word. It's in the book of Ezekiel. I know I saw it there. I'm about to end this. I'm about to end this broadcast, but I had to warn you people about that troll. That troll thinks they're going to scare me off, but that's not going to happen. Oh, here it is. Let's go to chapter 33, verse 6 in um, the KJV, Ezekiel. God says in the word, but the watchmen see the word sore come and blow not the trumpet and the people not be warned. If the word is sore come and take any person from among them, he is taken away his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's head. So God is saying to you people that if 
you do not warn the church about trolls like that, not just trolls like that, but false prophets in general, the blood's going to be on your hands. Don't be afraid to speak out against people like that. Don't be afraid to warn the church of scoffers and mockers harassing you. Because God said scoffers and mockers will arise. God said that in the word. Scoffers and mockers will arise. But don't be afraid to speak against them because God did not give you watchmen a spirit of fear. Of an unrighteous fear. The only one you need to fear is God himself. And that's Jesus Christ. Don't be scared of these trolls. This person is obviously full of demons. Okay? That person is beyond deliverance because that person blasphemed God when they said doo-doo. Without going to God. That's why I tell y'all to go to Jesus Christ. Seek his counsel first before you start making some psychotic comments. And that could let literally cost you your crown. I'm not here to tell you if your crown is caused. That's Jesus Christ's um, decision. But I'm telling you, if you attack a watchman without going to Jesus for counsel first, you could be blaspheming the Holy Spirit. And I'm saying that for y'all out of love for y'all. Her name is B.E.V. Johnson. She's a troll and she's harassing watchmen. And I'm here to expose that witch. Be blessed, saints. Take this to Jesus in prayer and ask him if what I tell you is true. Do not take my word at face value. Always test the spirits.